아, 제목은 좀 달라도 아침에 얘기하고 이제 같은 얘기예요. So even the, our, uh, the title is very similar to today's uh, pulpit message title. 네, 전도자 돼야 되잖아요, 우리는. So we must be the evangelists. 그리고 인간 중에서는 사도 바울이 최고의 인생을 살았어요, 그지? And among all the people, Apostle Paul really lived the greatest life. 우리가 뭐 무엇을 하든지 지금이 무엇이든지 간에 어떤 사람이든지 세계 복음화 돼야 합니다. And no matter who we are, what we're doing, all of us, we must be inside of world evangelization. 안 그러면 사실은 의미 없지요. If not, then everything it has no meaning. 지금은요 회사도 진짜 글로벌 돼야 돼요. And even now, if you're working at a company, that must really be a global company. 옛날에는요 한 면에서만 뭐가 잘 되어도요 아주 돈 되거든요. And in the past, even if that company it was just doing great in one area, then they were making a lot of money. 그러니까 한국에서도 도하고 도도 다 연결이 잘안 됐어요. 우리 어릴 때요. And so even for when I was younger in Korea, the roads they were not very uh, well connected. 부산에서 대구 가려는 것 같으면요, 그 버스 타고 가는 힘들어요. And so when I was living in Busan, it was even difficult for me to ride a bus that would go to the other city of Daegu. 그리고 그게 굉장한 여행이었어요, 그게. And so that was really we had to really uh, struggle and do a lot in order to go somewhere. 지금은 아니에요, 안 그래요. But now that's not the case. 세계에서 일등을 안 하고는 살아남지를 못해요. But now 기업이. it's a world where if you're not number one, then you cannot survive. 그런데 우리도 그리 살아야 합니다. And that is how we must live as well. 생각 바꿔야 되거든요. So we must change our thoughts. 자, 그래서 그리 하려는 것 같으면 사도 바울처럼 돼야 되는데 제자 중심 돼야 돼. So if we want to do this, we must become like Apostle Paul, and we must be centered on the disciples. 내 마음의 생각과 언약이 제자 중심이 돼야 한다. That my thoughts and my heart, they must be centered on the disciples. 그러면 제자를 발견했다는 얘기죠. And that means you have sought after, and you're seeking after the disciples. 그리고 거기에 집중해야 돼. And we must concentrate on that. 이렇게 되지려면 뭐 돼야 되냐니까 복음 돼야. And if in order for this to take place, what must we do? We must really have the gospel as our own. 그리고 알고만 있는 게 아니고 복음 누리는 사람이 돼야 돼. And we can't just simply know the gospel. We must be the ones who enjoy the gospel. 보통은 믿고 끝이거든요. For most people, they end it with just believing in the gospel. 밖에 나가 보세요. 그, 그 교회 다니는 사람이 복음 그러니까 예를 들어서 그리스도 알았다 합시다. 그리스도를 그저 이 뭐야 이론적으로 나는 사람도 좀 찾아보기 드물어요. And so let's say you go out into the field and you ask them, maybe they do know Christ even as a theory, knowing Christ, that's not very rare. 근데 알아도 믿고 끝이라니까요. But even if they know it, they end it simply with knowing and believing in Christ. 굉장한 은혜지, 그때 구원을 받는데 안 그래요? And so that is really uh, by God's grace, because if, if that's so, then they have been saved. 또 그거 가지고는 모질해요. 뭐에 모질했냐니까 내 삶의 현장에서 증거를 보는 것에 모질해요. But with that alone, it's lacking. It's lacking because you do not have the evidence in your life to share with others. 하나님이 내 인생 중에 눈에 보이게 역사하게끔 하는데 그거 가지고는 모자래요. That it's lacking to for you to share with other people. This is how God has been working in my life. 구원 받는 데는 확실하지 그게 딱 끝났어요 그것으로. That, but with faith alone, you have ended everything regarding your salvation. 그리고 우리 삶의 현장에 나타나게 하는 방법이 이제 보통 사람 하는 게 뭐냐니까. 강구 구하는 거야 하나님 해주시라고 나늘 기도하는 거예요 강구지. And so other people when they talk about how can God's work appear in your life, they say you have to diligently pray to God and ask God for things. 그 기도의 강구 이거는 아주 기본적이고 중요한 거 우리도 다 강구하잖아 안 그래요? And so of course even us we pray to God asking for certain things and that's 근데, very important. 그런데 기도 안에는 중요한 바탕 근본되는 내용이 있어요 그게 뭐냐니까 누림이라니까요. But there is a very important fundamental uh, platform foundation on which our prayer must stand, and that is enjoyment. Because without enjoyment, you will not have any spiritual power. That you will have no concept of spiritually being able to realize things and have things take place. And so, if you take a look at the believers out out there, they believe, they have faith, and they devote in the church with that faith. 요게 잘하는 거거든요. 요래 요래하면 아주 잘 잘하는 신자예요. And so, if they do so, then they are considered a good Christian, a good believer. 대부분의 경우가 저도 그랬지만 요거 해보면 오래 못 갑니다. 
And for most cases, even for myself in the past, even if they do that, they do, will not last very long. And it took me 10 years after praying to proclaim to God saying, I will not pray to you anymore. And so that is actually a fairly long time, going 10 years. And so why was I not able to last even longer than that? It's because between my faith and devotion, there was no enjoyment in between that. And so churches, they constantly, they're, uh, they're preaching, saying you have to a walk a good walk of faith and you have to devote yourself. And so for believers, when they hear those words, they are very touched by those words. 아, 그래 Saying, I should live like that. And then they devote themselves completely. But in order for that devotion to continue on, they, that person must continuously receive something from God. And and more importantly, their eyes need to be open in order for God to be at work through them. That, when we say that your spiritual eyes are open, that means your eyes have connected with God, you're connecting with God. Even with faith alone, that means your spirit has connected with God. But even now, physically and spiritually, what you see, it must connect with what God is seeing. And with that alone, that will not take place with just faith and devotion, even though that might give you much grace. And so it's very difficult to continue that, but if you are able to, then that will give become much grace to you. However, your spiritual eyes will not open with that. And so even for myself, even though there was someone who was demon possessed next to me, I was not able to see that. After I came to know the gospel, that's when I was able to accept and acknowledge that there are demons. 그러니까 완전 돌았는데도 그게 눈에 안 보일 정도면 우리가 돌지는 않아도 영적 문제 많이 있잖아요. And so that was someone who was completely out of their minds and we weren't able to see it, but there are so many people with unseen spiritual problems out there. Then what are you going to do with them? And if you don't know this, then what happens? That your ministry, it will not be accurate, it will not be set. So what is your ministry? That you are relaying the word. That you are supposed to able, be able to relay the word to them, knowing spiritually where they are and what kind of state they're in. And when you relay the gospel, there are so many words that you can share. But among those words, there's something that they are able to relate to regarding their spiritual problem, and you will be able to, concentrating on that word, relate that to them. 물론 전반적으로는 복음과 귀신이에요. 그러니까 사단이지. So in on a broader term, of course, we're talking about the gospel and demons. In other words, it's Satan. 근데 그럼 이거는 큰 단어예요. 예를 들어서 사탄을 많이 했어. 그러면 아주 전체적인 걸 많이 했거든. 사역에는 구체적인 말이 필요해요, 조용해도. So for example, if we're talking about Satan, that's speaking about a lot of things. It could mean a lot, but in uh, your ministry, you're relaying the word and you're relaying this concentrating word to them. 근데 이것보다 더 중요한 거 있어요. But there's something that's more important than this. 지한테 일어난 영적 문제가 눈에 안 보여. That the spiritual problem that they're going through, they cannot see with their own eyes. 왜냐면 눈이 안 들려. The reason for that is because their eyes have not been opened. 더더욱 이 눈이 안 열리면요 가장 중요한 거 있잖아요. 전도에 눈이 안 열리고 문이 안 열려. And if their eyes are not open to this, then they will never be able to open their eyes to evangelism, and the doors will not open either. 난 7년 8년 진짜 전도했거든요. 
And for myself, for seven, eight years, I was really evangelizing. 이 눈이 안 열리고 누림의 세계가 없으니까 성경이 뭐안 보여지 안 그래요? And without this enjoyment and this spiritual world, these eyes are not open for me. Then 사, that is why I was not able to see the Bible correctly. 사도 바울은 구약 성경을 가지고 복음을 말했는데 막 대역사일라 부르잖아요. Now for Apostle Paul, all he did was hold on to the words of the Old Testament, and yet great works arose. 너 조금만 나, 나도 똑같은 그 구약 성경을 가지고 있고 신약 성경도 가지고 있는데 성경을 있는 대로 내는 내, 내 나름대로 말했는데 아무도 안 따라와. And, but for myself, I was speaking of the Old Testament and even the New Testament, just as he was, and yet no one was following after me. 그러니까 뭔지를 뭔가를 몰랐다는 거지 성경이 안 그래요? Then that means that there was something that I didn't know that was in the Bible. 그래 이걸 갖다 이론적으로 들어도 그게 내 기대에 내가 증인이 되거든요. And even if let's say I hear it as a theory, if it becomes mine, then I will be able to share it. 아니 복음을 듣고 이제 깨달았어 보니까 아이고 이 전부 귀신이었어 예를 들면요. So let's say, for example, I came to know the gospel, and I see all these uh, people who are demon possessed. 그 이게 이제 복음인 줄 알았어요. And now I know that really it's the gospel. 그리고 이거 뭐 어떻게 해야 돼요? 안 그래요? Then what am I going to do? 너무 많아. Yeah. That there's so many. 그래 가지고 누려서 내기 되어야 조용하게 얘기해도 확실하게 끝까지 말을 안 돼. And so I must enjoy it and make it mine and be able to relay it to them. 그래 이게 우리 우리가 지금 지금까지 신앙생활을 했던 것을 이제 전체적으로 이제 개념적으로 설명한 이제 예? 뭐큰 단어 몇 개예요. 예. And so these are a few of the words that I've been speaking to you about. 그래 우리가 이 유목사님한테 복음을 듣고 난 뒤에 누림이라는 개념이 들어왔지. 그 전에는 여러분 되돌아 보세요. 없어요. 그런 개념이 없다니까. So after we came to know this gospel through Reverend Yu, that is how he introduced us to this concept of enjoyment. Before, why don't you really take a look at your walk of faith? There was no enjoyment at all. 잘 믿는 사람은 아까도 얘기했지만 믿고 뛰는 거예요, 그냥. And so for those who just believe diligently, all they do is they have faith, and then with that, they, that's their source of strength. 꽉 찼습니다. 누리 믿는 거 얘기하면 말안 통할 사람들 저 한인도 안에 꽉 찼어요. 교회 다니고 있지다. And there's just so many people, especially in K Town, who are living in that way that they simply just believe and are uh, doing actions. 근데 사도 바울은 이걸 알았어 처음부터. But Apostle Paul, he knew this from the beginning. 그리고 또 하나 중요한 거 처음부터 제자 알았어. And what more importantly, from the beginning, he knew of the disciples. 그러면 역사 일난 거야. And that's why works arose. 그럼 우리도 요거 아는 것도면 되는 거예요. And so even for us, all we need to know is this. 눈 열리면 되는. That if our eyes open, then that's it. 자, 전도는 하나님의 뜻을 따라 해야 돼요. And so evangelism must be done according to God's will. 이거요 받아들이는데 시간 오래 걸렸어요 나는요. And for myself, in order to accept this, it took me a long time. 어떤 때는 기분도 좀 살짝 나빴어. 아니 왜 자기 뜻대로 자꾸 해라 그래? 그래요? And there were even times when I would get offended. I'm saying, why does it always have to be done according to God's will? 뭔가 폭군 같은 느낌이 들고 별로 이거 살짝 마음에 안 드는 때도 있었어요, 제가. And there were times when I didn't agree, and I I would I felt like going against it. 이거 아직까지 내 마음대로 하고 싶은 거지, 그게 안 그래요? And so at that point, I still had I wanted to do according to my own will. 그 말은 하나님도 모르고 지 자신이 뭔지 인간이 뭐 어디 대표는 욕을 모르는 거야. And that means that they still do not know God, and even to that point, they don't know who they are. 사람 생각들 하면요, 무조건 반드시 언젠가는 망하게 돼 있어요. That for if you go done according to um, our thoughts, man's thoughts, then it will fail in the end. 아 틀림없어요 그냥. That there's no doubt about it. 그냥 사는 거는 혹 여러분 성공한 성공스럽게 눈에 보이게 살 수도 있지요. Even in just physically speaking, in your eyes, when you see them, sure they might look like they're uh, successful. 그래도 지 마음대로 살면 나중에 죽고 나면 알지 어제 지옥으로 봐 있거든. But once they die, they'll know that having lived according to their own will, they end up in hell. 그런데 만일 전도를 하고 싶은 사람이 있어, 그런데 지 마음대로 해봐 평생 해도 안 돼. But let's say there's someone who wants to evangelize, but they do it according to their own will, then lifelong they will just suffer. 혹시 몇 사람 건지는지 모르지만 성경적 큰 전도 진짜 정복 뭐뭐 뭐 세계 보고 뭐 이런 거 있잖아요. 이런 거는 죽어도 안 되지. 그러나. That they might be able to save a few people here and there, but if they do just do it according to their will, then they will never know the biblical evangelism or go reach world evangelization. 사사기 여러분 이 얘기 많이 알잖아요. And so we know about the book of Judges. 아주 웃기는 짓을 그것 써놨다니까요. 
And so many uh, ridiculous events arose. 이 웃기는 게 아니고 옛날에 우리가 복음 모를 때 우리 믿는데도 복음 모를 때 우리한테 일어났던 일들이에요, 그게. And so they're not so simply ridiculous, but these were the works that even took place in our lives before we really came to the gospel. 대표적인 게 하나가 사사 입단 있잖아요. 전쟁 나기 전에 이게 뭐 지보고 맹세하라 하는데 쓸데없이 맹세를 했어요. And so we can see one of the judges they uh, they, sh they shouldn't have sworn to the people and yet they did. 그러니까 제일 처음 제가 전쟁에 이기고 또는 제일 처음 지를 환명하, 환영하러 놓는 사람을 이제 짐승처럼 잡아가지고 저, 저, 예? 희생제사로 드리겠다고 하나님한테 맹세했어요. And so he swore to God saying, whoever comes to welcome me, I will uh, give that uh, person to a sacrificial offering. 근데 제일 먼저 나온 게 저, 저 외동딸이나 아들도 하나도 없어. 딸도 하나뿐이야. And the first person who came to greet him was actually his daughter. He didn't even have any sons. 이걸 이제 어째야 됩니까? 이거 뭐 땅을 치고 통곡을 하는 거지 안 그래요? And so what was he going to do? He was just uh, hitting the ground. 그리고 그이 딸이 저 아버지 분 말해서 아버지 맹세한 대로 하라고 내가 그리 따라간다고. And the daughter told him that you should do according to the promise you have given to God, and I'll follow after you. 그 분명히 선하진 않았어요. 그 희생자수로 사람을 잡아가지고 들였다 이런 거 분명히 선하진 않았어요. 그런데 야튼 어, 죽었어요. 두 달인가 뭐 어, 기한을 주라. 내가 가서 천으로 죽는 게 아까워서 예, 뭐 운다 뭐 이런 얘기. And so in any case, even though he was just regarding what he had said, uh, it was done accordingly. 그래 언약을 모르면 이런 쓸데없는 짓을 하는 거야. And so if you don't know the covenant, then you will just end up doing useless things. 누가 뭐 지보고 하야라 했나 안 그래요? And so no one forced him or told him to do that. 그리고 또왜 했습니까? And why did he do that? 자신이 없으니 했지. Because he had no confidence. 전쟁이 이길든지 못 이길든지 이건 뭐잘 모르니까 한 거예요. And he wasn't sure if he was going to have victory in the war or not. 그리고 힘이 어디서 나오는 걸 몰랐어요. 지가 싸우고 이겨야 되는 줄로 생각하고 있지. And he didn't know where the strength or the power would come from. He just thought he had to win on his own. 아니 언약이면 하나님 역사하신다. 이걸 모르는 거예요. So he didn't know that if they're holding on to the covenant, then God will be the one at work. 그래 전쟁하러 나오기 전에 언약을 한번 다시 잡는 거 이것 이것으로 충분하다. 뭐왜 맹세를 해 그것도 사람을 잡아가지고 희생자살 드리는 거를. So before going out to war, he should have just held on to the covenant once again. But he didn't do that. Instead, he had to make that promise. 그런데 그걸 이제 나는 하나님께 대단한 걸 드린다 이런 어떤 결심 이런 거로 예, 그 이제 지가 한 거거든요, 그게. And so he, I think, I believe that he thought he was making this great a uh, promise between him and God. 그 진짜로 나는 하나님이 정말로 딱 드릴 테니까 내한테 역사해 주세요 이런 얘기예요. And he was saying, I'll really truly give this to you, and may you be at work. 그런데 하나님은 절대 사람은 그래 하지 말아야겠어요. 그 옆에 그저 이방인 중에 그래 하는 사람이 있고 그래 하는 그 족속들이 있었거든. 그저저 저 아이들을 잡아가지고 그 번제로 드린다니까 그 저거 신한테. And so, God, but God never told him to do that, and He commanded them that you will never do such a thing because there are Gentiles that uh, will give. Uh, Humans as a blood sacrifice. 근데 거기에 영향을 받아가지고 이, 이 입단은 여러분 이스라엘 사람이요. 그리고 그거 하는 게 잘하는 줄로 생각되지 있는 그런 시대였다 그 말이야. Because he was influenced by these uh, neighboring uh, countries around him, and that, that was the kind of age it was. 그러니까 무슨 얘기냐면은 어, 사람이 지 소견에 오른 대로 하는 것들 뭐 이런 식으로 되어버린다 이제 그런 얘기. 예, 어, 이 사사기가. And so the book of Judges it's ultimately saying that if people do what is right in their eyes, this is what's going to happen. 그러니까 지 생각대로 하지 않아 어떻게 해야 돼요? And so if they're not going to do what's right in their eyes, then what should they do? 하나님 말씀대로 해야지 언약을 잡고 언약이 그 말씀의 핵심 아니에요, 안 그래요? That they should do according to God's word and hold to the covenant because the core of God's word is the covenant. 그게 다 무너져 버린 거지 지 생각대로 하니까. But because they were doing everything on their own accord, everything what just crumbled. 뭐 자연적으로 종교가 되어버려 종교가 되니까 옆에 나라 종교 그대로 하는 거예요. 그게 잘한 대단한 걸 받치는 줄 알고 그러니까 하나님이 역사해 주라 이, 이 생각으로 그렇게 한 거예요. So naturally they came, they fell into religion, and because it was religion, they were influenced by the other religions around them, and that is why they ultimately perished. 그 당시에 모든 사람들이 여기 있다 물들어 있었어요. And at that time, everyone in that age was uh, living like this. 그래 사사 입단은 참 대단한 사람이다. 저런 어떤 어, 결심을 했다면서 이런 시대라니까요. And so it was the kind of age where the people would look at him and say, "Wow, that's a really tremendous person that he could swear to God." 그 증거가 뭐냐 이거 딸이요, 저 아버지 그 맹세된 내가 또 그래 그래 따라 죽겠다고 말했어요. 
And so he promised him, no matter who it was that comes to me, that I will follow after this promise that I've made with God, and it was his daughter. 이 딸도 완전 물들어 뿌린 거지. 그때 한이 딸이 하나님 앞에 바로 선 딸이고 언약을 아는 딸이면 아버지는 그래도 나는 못 해요 해버려야 돼. And so even that daughter, she was just so convinced and persuaded by everyone that she said, "I will follow after you." And but if she was truly centered on the covenant, then she would have, might have said, "I will never follow after what you have promised." 구약 성경에 있거든요. 딱 성경책 딱 펴놓고 보라면서 아버지한테 보여줘야 돼. And so that is really uh, recorded in the Old Testament. 근데 뭐 딸도 모르는데 뭐 전부 몰 종교 다 잡혀가지고 막다 그래 하는 줄 알고 그 이제 죽었어요. 쓸데 없어요. And so everyone just was living in that way, and no one was uh, really centered on the covenant. And that's why, in the end, the daughter died. Jacob, you could have done that. And so let's look, take a look at Jacob. Jacob, the enemy was in there. He couldn't mollaga. So he still didn't manage to get a kid. He had to go to the city and go to the town and go there. That that birthright it already belonged to him, but yet he didn't know that, and so he was just running around trying to make it his. 그리고 웃기는 일 아닙니까? 그것도 안 그래. 지원태 와 있는데 그걸 몰라 가지고 지금 뭐 실태인데 지금 또또 받을 게 어디서 이미 와 있는데 예? 형한테는 없어요. 없는 걸왜 받아? 예. And so it's just so funny to think because it was already his. It belonged to him, and yet he was just running around thinking that it was his brother's and trying to make it his own. 그래 하나의 메시지가 뭡니까? And so, what is God's message? You got the only thing you don't know. The life will be in vain. He's saying that if you don't know my covenant, then your life will all be in vain. Sleep on the ground. And you will suffer needlessly. Sleep on the ground. That uselessly, he had to put his own daughter to death. That's the kind of thing. So, we don't know the covenant. We don't know the covenant. And so, regarding evangelism, if we do not have the eyes for it, and if we're not centered on the disciples, then this is the kind of evangelism that we'll do. 나중에 이 결론에 아이지 삼분에 보면 삼분에 삼분에 전도는 하는 게 아니고 눈 열린 것이 나타나잖아요. And so, in the third point of number three, it says that evangelism you have to have the spiritual eyes open to it. 제자의 눈 열리는 것도 하나님이 제자를 보지. That once your eyes are open to the disciples, God will attach the disciples to you. Ah, 전도에 있어서 제자가 이런 것이구나 눈이 열려라 그 말이지. So it means that your eyes must be open to the fact that oh, it's through the disciples that evangelism will take place. 그러면 정복하는 전도가 돼. Then it will be the evangelism that conquers. 다른 말로 하면은 누리는 전도가 되지. That in other words, it will be the evangelism that you enjoy. 너무나 감사하고 행복한 전도가. That it'll be such an evangelism that you're so thankful for and you're so joyful. 대부분 전도하는 사람 전도에 눌리지. 어떻게 해야 될지 앞이 잘안 보여. 나 그랬거든요. For most people, when they evangelize, they're just oppressed by it. It looks bleak. They don't know what they're looking at. And it was that was the same case for me. 유유 목사님 메시지를 들어보면 이거는 뭐 누구든지 다 돼야 될것 같은데 나는 앞이 안 보여. For Reverend Yu, when he was talking about it, he was saying that this should be the lives of everyone. But for myself, it just looks bleak. 앞이 안 보여도 어떻게 해요? 어 가만 있을 수는 없어요. 해야지 안 그래요. 그럼 하는 거야. 앞에 안 보이는데 그러니까 어떤 전대가 돼. 머리 다 깨지는 전도나. That even if it was all dim, they were saying we must do this. And so what was going to happen? I just did it with my own strength. 기준을 모르면요 상식 이하의 짓을 하는 거예요. And so if you don't know the standard, then you will do things that are not the standard. 그게 옛날에 우리 전도였다 그 말이에요. So that is the evangelism that we did in the past. 전도 상식의 일번 보고. And so the number one uh, thing, must thing that we must have for evangelism is the gospel. And the second, it's the disciple. And that's it. 우리 그 이런 축복이 와야 돼, 그죠? And so these are the blessings that must come to us. 그 전에 또 우리 모든 전도가 다 그렇고 아마 하나님 보기에는 참 말은 그래 말을 해놔도 모르니까 안 그래요? And so this is what the evangelism that took place in the past. 그럼 아마 말은 모르고, 예. And I do believe that God just pitied us because this is what we are doing. 자 다시 한번 제자 중심이에요. And so once again, we are centered on the disciples. 우리에게 이런 말씀을 주기 때문에 우리 교회는 제자를 이해하고 정복하는 전도, 성경적 전도 이런 거 이런 날 사람이 계속 일어날 거다 준비돼. And so I do believe that for our church, because we are centered on the disciples, that more and more these disciples will rise. Why 제자 중심인가? 이게 한 본래 하나님의 뜻이에요. 이게 예 그저 뭐 제자만 데리고 다니고 그게 아니요. And so why are we centered on the disciples? Because from the beginning, this was God's will. 그러니까 제자를 보지 못하는 사람은 뭐 수준 이하의 전도라는 거지. 마치 게 성경에 비교하면요. 
And so if we take a look at the Bible, if the ones who are not centered on the disciples and they're just evangelizing, then they are the ones who are not uh, above the standard. 그리고 제자가 눈에 보여 현장이 눈에 보이고 중복이 눈에 보이는 거예요. 이거 전도를 위해서 보지. 전에는 믿어서만 다 난리요, 이게. And so if your eyes have truly been open to it then regarding evangelism and disciples in the field you will be overlooking it looking from above but in the past because you did not know you were just looking from the bottom. 그러니까 이게 하나님 뜻이고 하나님이 정해난 계획이에요 이게. 본래 하나님이 전도는 이렇게 하는 거예요 제자 중심. And so this was the original plan God always had that this is how evangelism is going to take place through the disciples. 왜 그래요? 제자가 제자는 복음의 생명 그런 사람이에요. And the reason for that is because the disciple is the one who is staking their life on the gospel. 제자는 인생의 모든 기준이 복음이에요, 복음. For the disciple, the standard to their entire life is the gospel. 그럼 당연히 이 사람에게서 전도 일어나게 만들어야지 하나님이 안 그래요? Then of course God will make it so that person can truly stand as a disciple. 그리고 그래서 우리가 이 제자 중심의 전도에 만일 눈이 열리잖아요. 그러면 내 인생이 제자 인생 된다니까요. Then, if we are the ones who can really open our eyes to this disciple-centered evangelism, then God will allow us to find those disciples. 우리 다 이리 돼야 안 되겠어요. And so we must all be like this. 아니 우리가 여기 성경에 오늘 본문에 써놓지 않았기 때문에 사도 바울이 우연히 그리고 또저 반대하는 놈들하고 이저 메시지 하려면 힘들어요. 이게 저 영적으로 막 부닥치거든요. And so, if we take a look at today's pulpit message, it talked about Paul, how he was able to preach the gospel for a, a lot of time, but it's not recorded. But I'm sure that he had to argue many people who were opposing him. 그래가지고 우연히 제자를 분리했을 수도 있어요. And so, maybe 네. by coincidence, that the disciples were able to be split and set apart. 그러나 그게 하나님 뜻이었어요. And yet, that was all God's will. 그 같은 역사 일어나 버렸고 사도 바울 같은 역사 일어난 사람이 없어요. In any case, great works arose, and ever since then, there has not been a person like Apostle Paul in which great works arose. 그런데 우연이라고는 해석하지 못할 이유가 있어요. But there is a reason why we cannot uh, truly see it all as a coincidence. 13장에는 별로 안 나타나지만 13장 이후에부터 제자 얘기 나오고 14장에는 디모데 나와요. 그 다음에 15장, 16장 같은 이제 그저 루디아 나오잖아요. 17장, 18장. 그 데살로니카와 그 다음에 그 고린도 씨 제자들 쫙 경험했잖아요. And so it's not written in Acts chapter 13, but starting from 14, the disciples come out, starting with Timothy and then Lydia, and then the disciples in the region of Thessalonica and uh, Corinth. 아마 뭐 반대하는 사람들도 있고 막 이러는데 사도 바울 기도하면서 기다렸을 거예요. And I'm sure that there are people who went against him, but in any case, Paul stayed there and he was praying. 한 명이라도 반대하는 자에게 더 하나님 예비한 제자가 있을 수도 있으니까. Because among those who are still going against him, there still might be that one person whom God has uh, set apart for him. 그래, 기도하다가 어느 날더 이상 안 돼. 딱 결단하고 장소도 옮기고 제자를 따랐단 말. And once when he was praying, he received an answer saying that this is not it anymore, and that's why he was able to change his place and evangelize somewhere else. 이렇게 이해를 해야 될 이유가 뭐냐니까 이미 앞에서 많은 제자를 경험을 해. And what's the reason that we can come to this conclusion is because beforehand he has already met so many disciples. 상당히 많은 곳을 돌아다니면서 이미 복음 운동을 하고 이미 지나온 지역에서는 스스로 복음 운동 일어나는 많은 보고도 받았을 거예요. And I'm sure that he was uh, just uh, evangelizing to many disciples, and he even received reports that uh, evangelism was already taking place in those regions he had visited prior. 18장에 보면 10, 17장, 18장 이래 지나면서 보면 디모데를 거기 마게도네 보냈다가 불렀다가 예? 아가야로 내려오라 했다가 이런 거다 얘기 다 있잖아요, 여기. And in chapter 17 and 18, it says that he was able to send out Timothy, and he went to Macedonia, and he called him back to Achaia. 사도바는 다 알고 있었. And so Apostle Paul, he already knew everything. 단지 때를 딱 기다리고 있어. But he was always waiting for that time. 때라고 생각되는 그날 분리 딱 해. And the moment that it was that time, then he uh, sent them and said. 복음 안 받는 사람이 돼서 더 이상 미련을 안 돼. And he had no lingering feelings towards those who were not meant for the gospel. 그리하고도 하나님 앞에서 전쟁이 잘못됐다든지 혹시나 이거 뭐 이런 거 전혀 없어. And he had no uh, second thoughts about maybe this person, there was more to it, but he had none, nothing of that. And why did he not have those thoughts? Because he truly knew that God was centered on the disciples. That he had come to that answer. And so when he made that choice to separate them, he had no hesitation. 
우리가 만일 사도 바울 같은 그런 어떤 전도를 하면 능히 이런 것들 이해가 되지. And when we are able to participate in this uh, evangelism like Apostle Paul, then we'll be able to understand this. 윤 목사님이 놀랐다는 거는요. 사도 사도 행전을 이런 눈으로 읽고 책으로 냈다든지 누가 메시지를 했다든지 한 마디라도 말한 사람이 없습니다. And I do believe that other than Reverend New, that there has not been a person who, through this uh, Apostle Paul's eyes, was able to uh, read Acts and uh, make a book regarding Acts and evangelism. 내가 지금 그 얘기하는 거는 윤 목사님한테 배운 거 아닙니까? And even what I'm speaking of now, this is what I have learned from Reverend New. 옛날에 들을 때는 전혀 이해가 안 됐어요. 아까 내 아침에도 얘기했잖아요. 왜 예수님이 제자를 먼저 세우나 이거 참나 이거. 예? And in the past, for myself, I really had no idea what Reverend Yu was speaking about. Even when I heard that Jesus had gathered his disciples first, I really questioned why did he do that. 나는 이게 뭐 전도 한 명이 안 돼가 난리인데 안 그래요. 아무리 뭐 어, 하나님이지만 전혀 이해가 안 돼. And so I had no idea, no concept of it. I had no idea why it was sent around disciples. 그래 말씀 듣고요. 어느 날 깨닫고 현장에 나타나니까 하나씩 하나씩 눈 열린 거예요. But once as I continuously listened to the word and I went out to the field, then one by one, these uh, works were uh, being uh, shown to me. 사도 바울은 어, 이, 이 특별한 하나님 은혜도 있고 이 모든 걸 깨달았기 때문에 딱 시간표 되었을 때. Of course, Apostle Paul, he received a special grace from God and his eyes were open to it and that's why he was able to see the time. 그래서 훈련이 아주 중요합니다. And that is why training is so important. So what training is it? 말씀을 듣는 거거든요. So training, it is listening to the word. 다른 말로 하면 메시지죠. So in other words, it's listening to the message. 이걸 듣고 내가 눈 열고 깨닫고 하는 거 이게 훈련이에요. That when you're listening to it and really being able to open your eyes to it and really see what it means, that is training. 가지고 현장을 가면은 더 중요하죠. And with that, taking that to the field, it's very important. 이렇게 해가지고 내가 영안이 눌리, 열리는 거, 요게 훈련이에요. And with that, as your spiritual eyes are open, that is what training is. 군대 훈련이 아니지. So we're not talking about some training that you do in the army. 눈 열리면 하나님 하기 때문에 눈 열리는 게 훈련이. That because your eyes will be opened by God, the the way, the process of your eyes being opened is training. 그래 기도하고 메시지 듣고 이걸 자꾸 반복하는 거야. And that is why we continuously pray and speak about the word constantly. 그리고 제자가 생기면 함께 현장을 가는 거야. And that is why when these disciples arise, we take them with us to the field. 제자를 데려왔기 때문에 성령님이 더 역사합니다. 왜 그럴까요? And because you're taking your disciples with with you, then that's why the Holy Spirit will be even more at work. And why is that? 또한 사람 제자를 세워야 되니까. Because another disciple must be raised up. 아주 중요한 얘기예요. And so this is very important. 자 그다음에 이런 일이 있으려면 반드시 반드시 말씀 중심이야 돼요. And so in order for this to take place, we must have word concentration. 복음 중심인데 말씀이 중심돼야 복음 중심이 나타나겠지 안 그래요? Of course, we are concentrating on the gospel, but in order for us to have gospel concentration, it must be through word concentration. 그래 예배 너무 중요해요. And that is why worship is so important. 예배를 예사로 한다 절대 안 됩니다. That if you take worship lightly, then nothing will take place. 그리고 메시지 아주 중요합니다. And also the message, it is so important. 그 종이 있는 것처럼 훈련 현장 아주 중요. And so training and the field, it's so important. 여기에 자꾸 대지야 돼. And this must continuously be taking place. 기본이거든 이게. Because these, this is what's the very basic. 그런데 이것만 여러분 어 이게 저이뭐 의식적으로 이것만 계속하는 게 아니고 이게 그때 이더 이런 메시지 아닌 거 내게 돼야 돼요. But you're not only just doing these things, and these things are not just uh, taking place, but these must become yours. And so that's why we must think about it. Because it's the spiritual things and your spiritual eyes must be open, you must really have the time to think on it. 그러니까 이제 그게 마음에 들어와야 돼요, 안 그래요? And so that must enter inside your heart. 그리고 이거를 내가 다시 한번 내 내에게 심는 작업이 고백이에요. And the uh, way you're able to plant this once again inside of your heart, that is the time you take to confess. 묵상하고 하나님 앞에 고백하고 묵상할 때안 믿어질 수 있잖아, 안 그래요? Because you meditate and you confess on it. Because there are times when you're meditating on it that you might not have faith in it. 그러면 하나님 믿게 해주시라고 믿어지라고 기도해야 돼. 
Then you are praying to God, Lord, let me have faith in this. 그리고 잘안 깨달아지고 이게 이해가 정리가 안될 수도 있어요. And there might be times where you have not really organized the word and you're not able to really understand it. 질문해야지. Then you should uh, ask God. 그 요렇게 하는 이 일이 정해진 시간이 있어야 돼요. And so you must have this time that you set apart in order to do this. 5분도 괜찮거든요. And it's okay in the afternoon. 시간 정하고 딱 해야 돼요. And you must just set a time in which you can do this. 그리고 우리가 듣는 말씀과 함께 가장 근본적으로 항상 해야 될 것이 이때 그리스도를 고백하는 거지. And during that set time, as you're thinking about a lot of the messages, you must confess Christ. 이 구별된 시간이 너무나 중요합니다. So this set time, it's so important. 이 시간이 누구든지 있어야 돼요. This time that's set apart, everyone must have this time. 안 되지는 것은 사실은 하나님의 시간 배고 영적 문제예요. That if this is not taking place, then that is the time schedule for that person, and in reality, that's a spiritual problem. 이게 이제 나의 내 나를 훈련시키는 나의 집중 훈련 시간이에요. So this is the concentrative uh, training time that you need. 반드시 있어야 됩니다. So you must have this time. 제자가 뭐 그냥 전, 꼭 시대적인 전도자 아니라도요. 하나님 앞에서 내가 이 언약을 유지하고 내 영적 상태를 유지하는 요것만을 위해서도 요거 있어야 돼. That even though you may uh, not be having just uh, reaching towards world evangelization, but if you must have this time that's set apart in which you confess and hold to the covenant. 처음엔 잘안 돼요. And at first it will not take place very well. 그래 내가 이제 살아온 세월을 이래 보면 뭐 언약 기도를 쓴 때로부터 시작해 가지고 어 지금 한 10년 11년 이렇게 됐다고 볼수 있죠. And so taking a look at myself, it's been about 10 to 11 years that I've begun the covenantal prayer. 처음에는 막 썼는데 써도 왜 썼냐니까 내가 개인 기도하는 것보다도 이거 쓰는 것이 더 내한테 영적으로 힘이 돼요. And at first, when I began to write it, the reason why I continued to do it is because rather than having my own time of personal prayer, this uh, writing the covenants of prayer gave more strength to me. 문제는 너무 힘들고 기도해도 응답이 없고 아무 반응도 없고 그래. And so the problems were so hard, and yet when I prayed, that I received no answers. 그리고 응답 이전에 내라도 살아야 되겠어. 그래 너무 힘이 영적으로 힘들면 모든 게다 힘들잖아. And so, rather than even trying to receive answers, even myself just gaining strength was what I needed because it was so difficult for me. 처음에는 뭐 쓰지 않고 외웠는데 외우는 그것만 해도 영 내가 한 시간 아침에 한 시간 저녁에 한 시간 뭐 기도하려고 하는 이것보다도 더 영적으로 더 평안하다니까요. And as I was writing it, I was able to memorize it. But even just uh, uh, saying what I memorized in the morning and night, that gave me more strength than praying for an hour. 참 그래 인간이 간사하지 마음이 편하니까 아침 저녁으로 하는 기도 있잖아요. 이걸 차츰 덜 하게 돼. And so I was so thankful because as I came to do that and I received peace in my heart, I continued to do this. 전에는 이거 유지하기 위해서 막 아침에 해야 돼요. 저녁에 안 하면 잠도 안 자, 못 자, 잠이 잘안 와. And in the and the previously, when I would try to have this time of praying, that I would force myself to pray in the morning and at night. 그래, 그게 한 1년, 2년, 뭐 3년 이래 가는데 하나님이 증거를 보여주기 시작했어요. And that went on for one to three years, and slowly God was able to show me His work. 어, 그때부터 이제 내가 뭐 아마 그 우리 그 옛날 메시지 들어보면 막 이제 이런 얘기 막 나올 겁니다. 이제 뭐 언약기도 이런 거 오래됐잖아요. And so it's been a while, but in my previous messages, I'm sure that uh, I mentioned the covenants of prayer many times. 그래, 그런 때부터 이제 언약은 기도를 누리는 것이다. 뭐 그, 어, 그 기도 언약이 기도의 중심이다, 핵심이다. 뭐 이런 얘기들을 쫙 했죠. I'm sure I spoke a lot about how the covenant, it's the very core of your prayer. It should be what your prayer is centered on. 그래 한참 하다가요, 상당한 증거가 있고 교회도 이제 문제가 뭐 거의 사라지고 아주 좋아졌어요. And as I was doing that, God granted me these evidences, and our church it didn't have much problems, and everything was good. 그래 해도요, 내가 이걸 쓰지, 내가 마음을 담고 예수님은 그리스도라고 진심으로 고백하는 이게 아직 안 되는 거예요. But even with that, I was still simply writing it. It really had not come into my heart, and it was not the time in which I used to confess that Jesus was Christ. 그러니까 그냥 막 쓰고 있지, 이게 내 속에 들어가 꽂히지를 않는 거지 그냥. And so I was just writing it, but it had not really struck me in my heart. 그래하다가 어느 날 그리스도를 고백하고 싶더라고. But then one day I really had the heart of wanting to confess Christ. 그때 이제 떠오른 게 장세기 3장 15절 마태복음 16장 16절에 19절에요. 
And what came to my mind then, it was Genesis 3.15, Matthew 16, verses 16 through 19. 그래가지고 저녁에 한 11시 때가 이랬는데, 그게 이제 시작이 되는데, 아, 전에하고 달라요. And it was about 11 p.m. that night, but it was different from the times I had done it previously. 그래가지고 그 시간이 기다리죠. And I was waiting for that time to come. 그래, 뭐 낮에도 하면 될 건데 낮에는 안 되고 밤이 기다려지. <웃음> And so I could have just waited till the next day to do in the morning, but I could not wait. I had to do it at night. 그러니까 여러분도 다 느끼겠지만 조금씩 이렇게 안 돼. And so I'm sure that you know what this uh, feels like. 그래 가지고 그걸 했는데 한한 달이나 좀 넘게 이래 하고 나니까 그것도 약간 뭐 크게 은혜 안 돼. And let's say I was I and I was doing that for let's say a month, but that didn't give me much grace. 그래도 이제 그걸 계속하고 있어. But and yet I still continue to do that. 요거 하고 있는데 얼마 안 가가지고요. 하나님이 내 개인 메시지를 줬어. But as I was doing this, God gave me the personal message. 그건 이제 어, 요셉에게 꿈으로 메시지 같은 거지요. And so it's the same thing as how Joseph was able to receive his message through his dreams. 사도 바울에게 너는 이방인 이런 메시지를 준 거와 같은 거예요. It's the same way that God was able to speak to Paul, saying, "You are my chosen instrument for the Gentiles." 그 이제 그 상, 상당히 오래 전에 이제 이게 지금 이렇게 어, 지금 렘넌트 일곱 명이 이렇게 구성이 돼 있다는 것을 어, 캐치를 하게 했어요. And that's why I was able to really catch on to the fact that this is how God has set apart the remnants. 그러니까 근본 언약하고 그 다음에 내가 이 땅에서 해야 될, 해야 될 실질적인 구체적인 언약하고 두 개를 항상 잡고 있더라고. And that is why they were always holding on to the fundamental covenant as well as the realistic covenant, the work that God had prepared for them. That Moses was already someone who had heard from his mom that it was the uh, the offspring of the woman. 그러니까 장세기 예? 그저 가나안 땅 가기 전에 그저저 저, 뭐 미디안 광야에서 장세기 쓴 사람이지. And so that's why Moses was able to record the book of Genesis before he even entered into Canaan in the Midian wilderness. 그런데 어느 날 하나님 만나가지고 가나안 딱 왔어. Well, one day he met God and he was able to really hold on to entering into Canaan. 근본 언약 그리스도와 함께 자기가 평생을 두고 해야 될 실질적인 언약 가나안 따온 거예요. So he was able to hold on to the fundamental the covenant of Christ as well as the realistic covenant the work that he must do of entering into Canaan. 그리고 전부 다, 다 전부 다 그래요. 모든 사람 다 그래. And so all of them all the biblical figures are like this. 그 이걸 내한테 주는데 부활 메시지 내게요. And so this is the what he, the word he gave to me it was the four resurrection messages. 그 WRC 그거 할때그 예, 메시지에서 들어왔어요. And during the WRC message this is when it came inside my heart. 그 그때 이제 나, 나도 이제 준비됐다. 오래 생각했지. And so I thought to myself, now I am prepared. 복음만 해도 준비지만 그러나 실질적으로 무, 복음이 무기잖아요. 근본 영적 무기, 무기예요. 이건 실질적인 무기야. And so I had already had the uh, fundamental uh, spiritual weapon which is Christ, but now I had this realistic weapon with regarding the spiritual battle. 그래, 내 기도가 이제 두 개가 딱 야, 자리를 잡았어. And so within my heart I was holding on to these two prayer topics. 그리스도하고 부활 메시지 네 개. It is Christ as well as the four resurrection messages. 그다음에 이제 늘 하던 교회를 위한 기도, 성도를 위한 기도. And then as I would always do praying for the church as well as our church members. 그러나 핵심은 그리스도 세계 복음화 부활 메시지. But the core points was always Christ and the four resur resurrection messages which is world evangelization. 요리 하고 있는데 어느 날 제자 들어 and as I was doing this, uh, holding on to it, one day the word disciple came into me. 제자 들어오고 난 뒤에 미국과 남미에 더 확실하게 문이 열리고. And after that entered into my heart, the doors opening to America and Latin America became uh, more defined. 남미에는 문이 뭐 지금까지도 많이 열렸지만요, 미국은 진짜 시작될 것이라 남미도. That even up till now, there have been many doors opening in Latin America, but starting, I believe that the doors to America are officially starting now. 옛날에는 뭐 하, 내가 믿을 만들 믿음 아닙니까? 믿습니다 이거 그거 말고. And so now it's not the faith that I hold on to that I'm just doing that I believe that it will take place. 그런 믿음은 없었지 안 그래요? And so that faith that's really centered on my own will that's really uh, even funny to me now. 옛날에는 그거 잘하는 건줄 알았는데. And so now I can laugh at it now because I know that that's nothing. But in the past, that's what I was truly holding on to. 인생 끝까지 요두 개를 가지고 간다. 가실 것이다. 예, 내 인생을 잡고 그래 지금 생각하고 있지. 
And I do believe that with these two things that I'm holding on to, God will take me to the very end. 그리고 어디서 왔냐 이게 그 말이. And so where has this come from? 그리스도를 누리는 내 정해진 시간이. It is the set time in which I enjoy Christ. 지금은 그리스도를 고백하는 시간이 전에보다 더 깊어졌지. And now, compared to before, I'm able to enjoy Christ on a deeper level. 진짜로 예수님은 그리스도라고 고백하지. That now I'm able to sincerely and truly confess that Jesus is the Christ. 당연히 저주의 세방이요 모든 문제 해결자요 모든 운명은 역전이라고. That I'm able to really see that through him all curses have ended, all my problems are resolved, and I have come out from all my fate and destiny. 그러므로 이걸 통해 반드시 정복할 것, 운명을 정복하고 저주를 정복한다. That through this I am able to conquer my fate and destiny as well as the curses. 나는 이것 때문에 하나님의 반석 위에 세워진 교회요 음부의 권세는 무조건 절대 영원히 나를 이길 수 없다고. That for the sake of this, I am the church that is established on this rock, and the gates of Hades will never prevail against me. 천국 열쇠를 주셨기 때문에 하늘 문뿐만 아니라 땅에 있는 모든 문도 열린다고 고백하지. And I confess that because He has given me the keys to the kingdom of heaven, not only the doors in heaven, but as well as the doors on this earth will be opened. 사만 사천만 일천만 제자 제자를 우리에게 붙여줄 것이라 고백하지. And I do believe that going forward, God will attach the uh, ten million disciples to us. 미국에서 남미에서. In America as well as Latin America. 기도가 뭐 자꾸 달라지죠. And 단어가 my, 달라지고. And the words that I use in my prayer, they will change. 자꾸 커지고. And it will become even on a larger scale. 그 이유가 뭐냐니까 은약을 누리는 것 여기에서 일어나는 하나님의 본래부터 계획이야. The reason for that is because from the beginning, that has always been God's plan. 여기에 바울은 답이 났어. And to this, Apostle Paul already came to the answer. 우리가 이렇게 돼야 하는 겁니다. And so we must be like this as well. 그리스도 언약 잡고 말씀 따라오면은 누구든지 다될수 있다 믿어야 하잖아. That when you are holding on to the covenant of Christ and really listening to the word and holding to it, then you will become like this. 전도자는 전도하려고 고생을 하는 게 아니고 정복을 하는. That for the evangelists, they're not gritting their teeth and putting in all their effort to evangelize, but rather they are the ones who conquer. 정복이라는 단어는 전도자에게 준 거지. That this mystery of conquest it is only given to the evangelists. 복음만 복음만 가지고도 정복할 수 있어요. That even with the gospel alone, you'll be able to conquer. 근데 그 복음 가지고 전도자 됐을 때더 확실하게 딱 밟아. However, when you are an evangelist with the gospel, that mystery of conquest it will become even greater and more defined. 하나님의 뜻이에요. That 전도자. is God's will for the evangelist. 복음의 끝이 전도지요. So the end of the gospel is evangelism. 행위나 영적인 거 이런 보면 행위 쪽으로 이렇게 보면은 복음의 끝이 율법이에요. If we take a look at uh, the Actions and the deeds that you do, then the end of the gospel, it will be legalism. 복음을 누리는 자는 아무런 부담 없이 모든 율법을 다 지킬 수 있지. That the one who is able to enjoy the gospel to the very end, they would be able to keep all the laws. 율법이 안 지키지는 것은 사단에게 잡혀서 그래. The reason why you can't keep all the laws is because you are deceived by Satan. 진짜 복음으로 사단을 정복한 위에 올라선 사람은 모든 율법을 아무런 어려움 없이 다 지키지. But the one who is able to overcome all of the attacks of Satan and really enjoy the gospel, they will not uh, fall and be deceived, but rather they will be able to keep and observe all the laws. 이 복음 가진 자의 행위의 끝이 어디냐면 전도. And what is the what is at the very end of them keeping the laws of the gospel? It is evangelism. 전도의 끝이 제자예요. And the end of evangelism, it is disciples. 전도의 근본이 제자예요. And the fundamentals of the of evangelism is the disciple. 눈 들어오고 제자 일어서는 전도하기를 바랍니다. That may your eyes be open to this so that you be able to see the importance of the disciples. 그래서 우리가 윤 목사님 메시지에서 많이 듣는 말이에요. 그죠? 전도는 하는 것이 아니고 눈 열리는 것이다. That's why we hear this constantly in Reverend Yu's message that it's not the importance of acting on evangelism but to have your spiritual eyes be open to it. 이유는 하나님이 하시니까. And the reason for that is because God is the one who does it. 내가 하나님하고 생각과 마음과 눈이 통해야 돼. That my eyes, my heart, and my thoughts must align with God. 그러면 하나님이 하시는 거다. Then that means, then that means God will do it. 어떻게 이걸 할 것인가? So how is this going to happen? 그리스도를 누리면 되지. 
All you need to do is enjoy Christ. 그 흑암 세력이 무너져야 되니까. Because the forces of darkness, they must be broken down. 내 마음대로는 안 되고 때가 있어. That it will not be done according to my will, but there is a time. 그러나 그 때가 되면은 눈이 열림으로 아주 가볍게 올라서 버려. And when that time comes, because your eyes are already open to it, you'll be able to take on the next step. So the evangelist is the one who possesses the covenant. So this is what an evangelist is. 만일 그것이 무엇이든지 간에 언약이 내게 딱 되어졌어, 그러면 내가 그걸 위하여 기도하겠지. Let's say in any case that they are able to possess the covenant, and then they will be able to pray for it. 전도가 언약이 딱 되어서 기도하겠지. That if their if evangelism becomes their covenant, then they are bound to pray for it. 이 전도를 위한 경제가 언약으로 딱 들어와서 기도하겠지. That if they are holding on to the finances needed for evangelism, then they will pray for it. 전도는 아주 종합 예술이거든요. And so evangelism, it's a very broad term. 아주 다양한 많은 것이 필요해. That you need a lot of various and uh, diverse things. 그런데 이 성경에 오늘 그 사도 바울뿐만 아니라 사도 바울 자체가 아주 뭐 언약의 덩어리지만 그 밑에 연결된 사람들도 다 언약을 가지고. And so even for Apostle Paul, he of course he was uh, centered on the covenant, but even the disciples who were attached to him, they were the ones who possessed the covenant. 인간에게 필요한 건 언약뿐이다. 얼마 전에 얘기했잖아요. And so we always say that the only thing that mankind needs is the covenant. 그게 그리스도. 이건 이것을 근본적으로 물론 말하지요. And of course that fundamentally speaking it's talking about Christ. 그뿐이 그뿐이 아니고 예를 들어서 전도가 언약이 딱 되졌어. So let's say not only that but evangelism has really become your covenant. 이까지 내 인생 모든 문제 해결해. Then with that all the problems of your life will be resolved. 딱 그거 잡고 언약 속 기도하면 내가 그리스도 깨달아질 필요가 있으면 그것도 깨닫게 할 것이고 경제가 필요하면 경제도 건강도 다 주시는 That when you truly hold to this and pray, then if you need to uh, deeply more realize uh, Christ, then that will be given to you. If you need finances, then God will give that to you. And so let us come, uh, organize the conclusion regarding the evangelist. 틀린 것을 못 견디는 사람들이 좀 있어요. That there are some people who are not able to see the incorrect things. 전도자는 이러면 안 되거든요. That the evangelist should not be like this. 그 사람이 언제 바로 될지 몰라요. 하나님 손에 있잖아요. And we don't know when that they will be able to see and fix their uh, these incorrect things because we are not God. 그래서 틀린 걸못 본다. 하나님을 못 믿어서 그래. And so it's all depending on God. And so they're not able to see these incorrect things because they do not have faith in God. 하나님을 믿으면 인간이 무슨 짓을 해도 아무 관계 없어. That if you have faith in God, then no matter what other people do, that it has no relation to you. 한 얼마 전에 어, 얼마 전에 어, 이 유목사의 메시지도 이런 얘기 한, 한 적이 있어요. And recently, there was a message of Reverend News, and he said this. 두 번째 전도자는요, 전도에 집중하지 말고 참 제자에 집중해라. And so the second point is, don't be so fixated on evangelism, but rather be fixated on the disciples. 하나님의 뜻이에요. On the true disciples, and that is God's will. 옛날에 제자라는 단어를 못 깨닫을 때는 전도 자체에다가 막 집중을 했죠. In the past, when we were not centered on the disciples, we had no choice but to just focus everything on evangelism. 안 하는 사람보다는 뭐 100%나 낫습니다. And so, of course, it was better than uh, being someone who did absolutely nothing. 그러나 그 가지고는 전도의 한계를 못 넘습니다. But with that alone, we would not be able to uh, overstep and exceed this limit on evangelism. 그, 그리고 큰 전도 못 합니다. And we would not be able to carry out this uh, large-scale evangelism. 정복하는 전도, 성경적 전도 이런 데는 금방 해도 못 갑니다. And we would not be able to follow after this biblical evangelism. 대부분의 경우에 고생만 하다가 뒤에 남는 거 아무것도 없어. And for most cases, we would just simply suffer, and there would be no results or no fruit that would be born. 왜냐하면 지 전도를 해서 그렇습니다. And the reason for that is because they were just doing their own evangelism. 그 인간 지 생각들 하는 건 반드시 영원히 언젠가는 망해 되지. That is why when people do according to their own will, in one day, in the very end, they will fail. That is why their eyes must be opened. Why is it the disciples? That these eyes that you have, they must connect with God. And third point is the one who is not concerned about the task of the world will be able to walk on this path. 이런 난 일에 그렇게 자꾸만 상관이 되지고 생각이 되지 이러면 길못 갑니다. 이뭐 일단 멈췄었잖아 안 그래 그 문제에 못 멈췄었잖아. Let's say if they are caught up in their own problems and regarding in the world, then they, for once, they'll be stopped and they will not be able to go forward. 
그런 일에 상관이 없어요. But these things that are taking place in the world, they are no relation to you. 우리는 교회가 비교적 조용한 교회예요. And so, compared to other churches, our church is uh, fairly uh, silent, and there's nothing much going on. 그래도 한 번씩 일어나는 일도 있거든. But of course, there are incidents that arise once in a while. 거기에 잡혀가지고 막안 <웃음> 됩니다. And so we should not be caught up in, within that and just make a fuss about it. 그래 할 이유가 없죠. And there's no reason for us to do that. 우리 목사들이 유 목사의 메시지를 듣는 목사들이 어, 배우는 것들 중에 많은 것들 중에 한 가지가 뭐냐면 교회 일, 일이 일어나면 목사는 아무 말을 안 하는 거예요. That among the many things that we learn from every new is that uh, there's nothing uh, good that takes place for uh, the pastor who's just constantly speaking about his church. 옛날에는 그걸 바로 잡으려고 목사가 들어가고 이렇고 저렇고 막 얘기를 하잖아요. And so before he would uh, speak in more detail about what the pastor should do. 그둘 중에 하나는 반대의 상처받아요. But always if the pastor acts in that way then there is someone who's going to get offended. 그건 목사가 할 일이 아니지. So that's not what the pastor should be doing. 하나님이 할 일이잖아. Because that's what God should be doing. 목사는 뭐 해야 돼요? What should the pastor do? 복음을 바로 전달해야 돼. That he should accurately relay the gospel. 제자를 키우고 전도를 해야 돼. He must raise the disciples and evangelize. 그 너는 이것만 해라. And so that's all you need to do. 교회는 내가 책임진다. And for the church, I will take care of it. 이게 내 교회지, 네 교회냐? 그래요? That this is my church. This is not your church, and that's what God was saying to me. 여러분들도 그래 살아야 합니다. And you must also live like this as well. 왜 그래요? Why is that? 인생이 여러분께 아니고 하나님 겁니다. Because your life, it's not yours. It belongs to God. 여러분 인생, 인생이 여러분 겁니까? That is your life yours? 만일 그래 살면 망합니다. If that's the case, then you will fail in the end. 절대 그래 살지 마세요. 그래 안 살면요 누리입니다. So do not live like that. If you do not live like that, then you'll be able to enjoy. 네, 언약을 잡고 인생을 하나님께 드리면요 내가 누린다니까. That if you're able to hold to the covenant and give your life to God, then you'll enjoy. 자 그다음에 이 모든 답을요 비밀리에 다 가지고 있어요. And also all these answers, um, you must hold on to it because it is a mystery. 비밀리에라는 말은 어. 뭐 누구한테 말하지 말라 이 말도 되겠죠. And so when we say it's a mystery, that means that it might be unknown to others, and so you must not uh, speak of it. 그보다 더 중요한 의미가 있어요. But there is a greater meaning behind this. 하나님과 나 사이에 그래서. That it is between myself and God. 다 가지고 있어요. That you are holding on to that. 그래야 속에서 힘 납니다. And through that, you'll be able to gain your inner strength. 다른 사람한테 말하면 힘다 빠져버려. That when you share this with others, then you will lose strength. Why are you losing strength? 그 하나님 뜻이야. Because that is not God's will. 요거 네 하고 내 하고야. That he's just saying this is between you and me. 아 잡고 있어. And so may you really hold on to it. 네, 말해야 될때 있어요. And there are times when you will need to speak on this. 이게 필요한 사람. And that is when it's needed for that person. 그때는 말을 하면 할수록 더 힘납니다. And rather, when and when it's that time, then the more you speak on it, the more strength you will gain. 목사는 설교 안 하면 죽어요. That for a pastor, if he does not uh, give the word, then he will perish. 네, 그렇게 되도록 목사를 불렀어요. And that is why they have been called as pastors. 목사는 교회에서 말하고 메시지 하면 살았나요? And as for the pastor, when they are continuously being able to relay the word at, to, through the church, then they will be revived. 그러나 내 속으로 하나님하고 내하고 개인적으로 가지고 있는 거 있어요. But there is something that I am holding on to spiritually between myself and God. 얼마나 중요한 얘기 오늘 행 얘기만 해도 뭐 답이 되고도 남습니다 안 그래요? And even with the word that I have shared today, it is more than enough to be an answer. 이걸 딱 잡고 하나님 앞에서 조용하게 하나님하고 소곤 소곤 얘기하는 거예요. And so may you quietly really hold to this and just uh, have a conversation with God. 축복받고 증인되길 바랍니다. May you receive this blessing and may you stand as a witness. 하나님 은혜를 감사합니다. God, we thank you for your grace. 귀중한 말씀 주셨으니 모든 영광 하나님 받으시옵소서. You have given us your precious words and may you receive all the glory. 주의 놀라운 증거가 우리 인생에 충만하게 하옵시며. May your great evidences be uh, raised up in our life. 그래야 미국 남미 렘넌트 다민족하게 하옵시고. So would you allow us to really go to the ends of saving America, Latin America, the remnants and people of all nations? 땅 끝까지 이르러 주의 증인이 되게 하옵소서. And to the very ends of the earth, may you allow us to be your witnesses. 오늘도 문을 열어 주옵시며. Even today, may you open the doors. 제자를 세워 주옵소서. And raise up the disciples. 주 예수님 이름으로 기도드립니다. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 감사합니다.